still snowball that lava? Go snowball. I'm so tired of that. Hello guys, I'm Henry John Griffin and today this is a movie for you. Once upon a time. I was in my room and I got slammed on my bed because I was being a re I kept talking about how I wanted my brain to be a supercomputer and it found out how that it was becoming true now. From where I came to where I even respect to come, I use pretty much respect on my love. What is this cat? Oh, I found her. She is... Okay, put it down. Close the tab. I closed the tab because I think my brain is like a computer. And um, this is what the movie's about. This one is about, um, forgetting your brain and just, um, having a downgrade, like, saying, saying it's a supercomputer and stuff. Maybe just getting a downgrade for my mind helps. I could be just, be, be, I could just be a supercomputer. The downgrade in my brain has became most popular of the the the, the supercomputer and stuff. And also, we have we have thought processes just like a computer in some kind of case. In some cases, uh, in some cases, we are the supercomputer, and it's and, and, and in a lot of ways we are the supercomputer, and we have a lot of thought processes, which we then go far of processing information in the world. Look at this big gigantic computer in my head. It's a computer I should use to keep myself calm. Okay, because my brain is a cool computer and I use it for the good I don't use it for the bad whole movie shooting everything My brain is a supercomputer because it has endless storage and it's amazing. It has a bunch of features like a supercomputer and even processes and has storage and multiple processing capabilities, if you will. I have an amazing supercomputer called my brain and a supercomputer is in my brain and I can touch this, I can touch that computer to help me calm down. Whenever I need to calm down, I can rub that computer, rub it. Because that's what brains are. They are supercomputers and they don't get overwhelmed and they don't get overloaded. Well, they do get overwhelmed, but they don't run out of storage. They don't get overloaded and they don't they do, they do not run out of storage. They have endless storage. That's why people say I'm a supercomputer because I still collect storage in my in my data bank in my brain where information is processed by the data bank inside the brain. <laughs> 